everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here. Today's video is gonna be a what's new in home bargains video. I haven't been there for ages, and I thought what we'd do today is have a little look around the store. I bet they've got loads of Easter stuff in now. Also, Valentine's bits, like last minute Valentine's bits as well. So we'll go and have a little look around, see what's new in store. I'm excited to go and have a little look. Today is Invisalign change day. I'm on to tray five now like a line of five. Can you believe that? That's gone so quick, hasn't it? But I'll give you a little update actually, because I don't think I've really spoken to you about my Invisalign recently. All going well. I've got used to it now, you know, like the first bit of like regret has gone. <laughs> and um, I'm excited because I feel like it's going really quickly actually. Like I said in the beginning, I have got 20 trays or 20 aligners to get through. And then they'll like reassess it at the end of the 20. But we're on to number five, which I think is great. Only like another 15 more to go. And these five weeks have gone so, so quickly, or probably six weeks, I would say it is now, but it's gone so quick. So I'm really excited to change and see how they feel. I don't really find it very painful actually changing the aligners. Sometimes you get a little bit more of like an ache in your jaw. Um, but apart from that, it's all good. The only annoying thing is with the Invisalign is when you go out, it's really annoying eating out and about like, do you know what I mean? Or if you're going on a car journey, you can't just have like snacks in the car really. I used to love like having a mint in the car and I can't really do that anymore. So that's annoying. We're actually going away this weekend and the whole car journey is not as, not as fun when you can't have snacks. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's the only thing. When you're out and about, it is really annoying. I don't like taking them out in public. I don't like brushing my teeth in like public bathrooms and things like that. It's not the funnest. I have got those little Colgate, um, they're like a mini toothbrush with toothpaste in them. They're okay if you've just had a drink, I would say. If, you, if I've just had a coffee or something like that, I can brush my teeth with those. They're like disposable toothbrushes, but everything else I need to properly brush my teeth and the aligners as well. So it's a bit of a faff when you're out and about. But anyway, I digress. We're going to go to Home Bargains this morning. So let's go there and see what's new in. Okay, so the first thing I spotted as soon as I went in there was Valentine's. There was so much Valentine's stuff right at the door as you go in. I thought these would be cute for the kids if you're doing like a Valentine's breakfast for them or a little activity in the afternoon. I thought that'd be really nice. There were lots of sweet treats. They also had some cards, but that was pretty much it for the Valentine's section. I did spot this Kylie Prosecco in the drink section and look at it, it's got cute little hearts. They also had lots in for Pancake Day, of course, because that is very, very soon. So they had a few little bits in there for that. And then they had lots and lots in for Easter and also Mother's Day. In the hair section, I noticed this Olaplex dupe, which looks very, very affordable. Apart from that, I didn't really see too much new in the hair and beauty section. I do always like to stock up on face cloths and they always have loads of different ones in here as well. So really affordable and cheap. They had some nice lighting in store today. I like this little sunset lamp. It looks quite cute. And then, like I said, lots and lots of Mother's Day stuff already in store. So a great time to go and purchase if you're gonna get some bits. You know I love a mug, so I had to show you these two. I love this. Nan, you're totally terrific. How cute is that? I wanted to quickly mention this heated blanket. These are so fab and for $17.99, I thought that was such a great price. I always put mine in our bed before we get into bed and it's just so cozy. I love these vases as well, $3.99, how affordable is that? You could put some nice flowers in them and give them as a gift for Mother's Day or Easter. And then here's the Easter section. I was actually a little bit underwhelmed with this because I didn't see that there was too much with regards to decor. They had lots of gift bags, as you can see here. They had a couple of candles and some like arts and craft bits. This candle is white chocolate scented and they also had a cinnamon bun or hot cross bun scented one as well. There's a little cute bunny here, but apart from that, there wasn't much with regards to decor. They did have some Mother's Day gifts as well and gift bags, which were nice. And these baskets, these are from Ikea. These are basically a dupe for the Ikea ones, which are eight pounds. They're five pounds here. They're six pounds in Dunelm. I did have a little look. I did spot a few kids gift ideas as well. And also this little foot file or skin smoother, great for summer 
um, getting your summer feet ready. Uh, they had lots of lovely cleaning bits. I love these tumble dry balls, they're really good. And yeah, there was not much new in the clean section. Who remembers when we always used to buy Zaflora all the time? Does anyone still do that? <laughs> I don't buy it as often anymore, but yeah, I remember when that was a massive thing. Here are a few of the garden items that I spotted in store. They've got a whole big garden area now, so you can get lighting and things like that and grass seeds and all sorts in there. So if you're prepping your garden, then definitely pop in and see what you can find. They had some nice toys for kids as well. And they even had darts boards. My kids are obsessed with darts at the minute. So great idea from Home Bargains, bringing that into the shop, isn't it? Because of the darts at the minute, it's just been everywhere. They had lots of food prep items in store as well. If you're meal prepping at the moment, they had loads of containers. I then spotted this snack cup. So basically you put your drink in the bottom and your snacks in the top. How cool is that? They had loads of different colors. Absolutely loved that lots more containers and I liked the look of these scales as well so kitchen weigh-in scales. I'm just popping to Dunelm to get a photo frame now for Vinny's school photo. I've got his class picture because it's his last year so I've got it this year. I love these frames, look at those. It's got that like bobbin effect. Ronaldina. I'm going to get some of this. Never, we never come in it. I've never tried this before. It's Love. so random, really. <laughs> Work footballs? Yeah. In Audi? That's quite cool, isn't it? It's marshmallow. But do you know what that looks like to me? What? Something from the Lorax. Yeah. Or well, that's something you've seen in one of those films. I don't know what you'd have that with, but... On toast? I think Surely. just on a spoon would be nice to me. It says on toast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. With jam, maybe. Or like chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate well, spread. Well, uh, hot Mm. So many random things in here. Actually got this. For my masonry course. Look at that. So you could be a mason. What's that? Work zone trolley. A little trolley, isn't it? On your knees. Yeah, this is good, look. I like these little sets. I love things like that. This is you, Mum. Skinny whips. I love these. I love these. Oh my god, they are so good. These. White these. chocolate ones. Mm. You buy gold, like a caramel. We got the caramel one, the Caramax one the other day, didn't we? Oh, oh this looks good. Look at that, babe. What? Mini eggs, chocolate bar. Eggs. Oh my god. We don't really give mini eggs to the boys because I feel like they're dangerous, yeah, but this, it. they'd love that. We don't try, we haven't tried the white one yet. No, I know. These are good. What's this? That reminds me of Singapore. Pop in cho it. popcorn chocolate. It looks mm. like the chocolate we made. Oh yeah, it does look like the chocolate bar. Easter. Love solid chocolate like that. We love chocolate. We've got so many Easter eggs in here. Oh, wow. Well. Let me, I know it's really going to pick. Oh, really? Out oh, of all of these, you know which one I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for 12. No. Malteser. Malteser, definitely. Yeah, but 12 is better with a cup of tea than a Malteser. Yeah, I know. I do like Malteser though. Oh, this is a big peanut butter. You actually need some peanut butter. It's peanut butter? Yeah. What? Crunchy peanut butter. They've got a smooth one, look at that. Oh, look. I wonder how good that is. No added sugar. Bien, bien. <laughs> what? They're better in those packets. Remember? Big ones. Yeah. Oh no, chocolate only for me. Ah, some flowers. Valentine's. If I was going to pick them for you, I'd pick... Hmm, oh. I thought you would say that. I what? thought you would say that. I like... This one is the prettiest one. No, I didn't mean flower, I mean I the flake. I know, I know. I thought you were saying the colour. No, no. Oh, no, white ones. Yeah. Valentine's. What's this? Heart tea lights, if you're planning a little date night. How cute these are. Heart from this. Let's get some. I'll do breakfast in bed. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Funny man. Oh. When have you made me breakfast in bed? <laughs> when have you made me a cup of tea in bed? <laughs> Never. I'll do it for you. Never. Yeah. <laughs> That was what was new in Home Bargains. I thought I would show you what I bought when I was in there as well. Got a few little bit. Let's just get into it, shall we? The first thing I got was 
this is all just gonna be so random because they're all just chucked in here but i've got the boys some bath fizzes and these ones actually have a little surprise toy inside so i thought that would be quite cute you can collect all four and they're called bath buddy fizzies which are really nice they love having um bath bombs and things like that so i thought they would be really nice i did grab some toothbrushes as well the boys have got electric toothbrushes but when we go away i just bring you know like manual toothbrushes so i got one for renzo this is for age six to eight it's the aquafresh big teeth one i also got orlando one as well and this is a, li a little teeth one for three to five year old it's also got a travel cap that goes over the toothbrush as well which i thought was quite useful i picked up some toothpaste because we always need some of that for three to eight years i also got these fruit snacks so these are called fruit smiles and they're strawberry flavored so i might bring these in the car actually today because this is the next day i'm filming this and we are going to london the weekend so I thought I'd pack these as some snacks in the car because we're going straight from school. So that's what I've got there. We also grabbed some of these. So when we go to football, it's often quite chilly and you know, to keep us warm, we thought we'd get some of these. Mark said these were brilliant and they used to use them like when they play cricket and stuff. And these are called hot hands, hand warmers, and they are warm for up to 10 hours, which is great, isn't it? They were only cheap, so we got quite a few of these which I think what I'll do is I'll probably put some of these in the car and then I'll put the other ones in the utility room where we like put our coat on and stuff. So we've always got one to hand when we're out and about. Looks quite good. So easy warmth, warms quickly, ready to use and you've got two hand warmers in each pack. So that's really good. Here's another one of the bath fizzes. This one is a dinosaur one. So again, you've got three to collect in this one. You get the surprise toy inside which is really nice i just got one of these little this is literally like i don't know 59p it's literally a little flannel which i want to keep just on the side where our toothbrushes are just to dry the toothbrushes off obviously when the kids have used them and stuff so i thought if i put it on the side the kids are more likely to use it i did get a new cleaner for the kitchen i went for this flash bicarb of soda i've not tried this one before so i don't know what it smells like there's up to 100% dirt and grease removal multi-purpose this one so I'm going to use that throughout the house but yeah I thought I'd get that because I needed to stock up got another one of those hand warmers in here I told you we've got a lot got some Doritos Renzo really loves Doritos so I mainly picked those up for him and I mainly picked these up for Orlando because he loves these little sweets these are different um insects and animals I think they're actually all dinosaurs are they yeah, I think they're actually dinosaurs, these ones, but they had insects as well. So I thought I'd get those to start off the half term with some sweets, get the boys all G'd up for half term. This definitely feels like a sweets and food haul. I got some minstrels for the car journey later on. Picked up some Smarties as well. We also got some of these air fresheners. These are just like a pack of three. So just to put around like in the bathrooms, downstairs toilet, things like that. We got this in the scent called Wild Lavender. I did get some goggles actually for the boys because where we're staying, the hotel that we're staying at, um, they've got a little swimming pool in there. So the boys love to go swimming and their goggles that we've got i think they're broken so i thought i would stock up and get a couple pairs of goggles which i thought were good they come in their own case as well so hopefully they won't get lost or broken so i grabbed two pairs of goggles i got some Belvita snacks for the kids as well these are just handy for like on the go breakfast and on the go snacks for the kids and these are the cocoa with chocolate chip breakfast bars are they bars i suppose they're bars or like biscuits actually so yeah, I've got two of those. The kids absolutely love those. I did get some of these banana chips. I quite like those. They're quite nice to have. Um, I'm not sure how they'll be actually with my Invisalign now because my teeth are a little bit more sensitive to like harder food. So I don't know how I'll get on with them depending on how hard these are. We'll see, but I got some banana chips because I quite like having those. It is Orlando's birthday soon on the 18th of February. So I got him this little birthday badge they had loads of birthday um bits in there you know like with like the party table set up and things like that like dinosaur themed which is why this one is green so it's got it's my birthday and it's just a little badge 
that I thought he would appreciate on his birthday. Can't believe he's gonna be five. Can you believe that? Five years old, it's just crazy. And with it being his birthday, he's having a small birthday party. So, you know how you do like the birthday bags and all of that and you give them some cake and stuff like that? I saw this in there and it's eight pick and mix party packs. It includes sweets, scoops, stickers and goodie bags. So you've got everything you need in there to create your own little party bags just to give to the kids. So I thought they would appreciate that and I love that it's all in one set and you get eight, I think it was eight, is it? Oh, you get 10 goodie bags in there and then you get gummy mix, marshmallows, stickers to like seal the little bags, which I just thought that is so useful, isn't it? I'm always so last minute when it comes to getting the party bags ready. So something like that is just really handy. Kids love sweets, don't they? So I thought that would be ideal for his birthday. The next thing I got was the scales. So I got some glass kitchen scales. Um, these are digital ones and I just thought these would be really useful. I do have some at the minute, but they don't really work very well. So I thought I would get another one. Great if you're calorie counting or if you're, you know, putting recipes together or if you're baking and you need to measure anything, this is really fab. So I thought I'd get that. It was only 4 99 which I think is a great, great price because a lot of these I've seen online or on Amazon are usually 10 to 15 pounds. So for 4 99 I thought that was an absolute bargain. Next, we got some lozenges. These are blackcurrant flavor, soothing menthol lozenges. Everyone in our house has been poorly recently. So these are actually coming really handy. I didn't realize Mark picked those up, so that's good. We also got some paracetamol. <laughs> Tis the season. Um, we got some interdental brushes. I always use these interdental brushes for my teeth just to get in between them. Rather than like flossing, I use the interdental brushes. I prefer them. And I have to use quite a few different sizes, but we got the red ones because we've run out of those. Got some bleach. I think that's pretty much it. Is that everything? That's pretty much everything that I got from Home Bargains yesterday. We did pick up the crumpets actually from Aldi, you know, the heart-shaped ones that you would have seen earlier. And I did also pick up that fluff marshmallow in Aldi and I tried it yesterday and oh my God. That is so Moorish, it's so, so nice. Very light though, but that's why it's so Moorish, just because it feels so light, you could eat all of it <laughs> in one go. So got that as well. Um, but that is about it, guys. So hope you're all well. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. I think this is going live on Sunday, so I hope you've had a lovely weekend. We will be in London when you're watching this. So we're gonna be exploring and taking the kids away for a couple of days. This was actually the trip we were meant to do after Christmas. Do you remember I surprised the kids and Mark with a trip to London, but then everyone got poorly, so we couldn't go. So this is that trip, just a, a belated version. I thought I would rebook it for the half term or the start of the half term because the kids are off next week. So yeah, great start to the half term. I can't believe it's half term already. It feels like it was Christmas yesterday, but here we are. So yeah, we'll be in London. I hope you all having a lovely weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.